welcome. Today is tip five of free tip week here at Redwall Productions. If you've been with us all week, I wanna thank you for watching and let you know that tomorrow is the big day when we answer all the questions that you guys have been sending in. It's not too late to send in a question. All you have to do is hit the reply button on this email to send it in. So I'm gonna jump right in today. I have two tips for actors about auditions. They come from auditions that happen this week. Sometimes I like to bring you stories from the trenches. The first one is from my Ultimate Acting Experience program. My client, Linda, had an awesome audition where she got invited to a callback right on the spot. That's a great result, but that's not what I wanna highlight. Here's what I wanna highlight. She went to the audition and she felt a little like maybe she wasn't quite as ready as she would want to be. But you know what she did? She focused in on the work. She was concerned that she didn't have her head shot and maybe she should try to run around and get one before the audition. But instead, she said, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to focus in on rehearsing the scene and figuring out what my choices are going to be. So she gets to the audition and with 15 minutes to spare, she decides, you know what? This character would be speaking with an accent. And she added the accent. She said, hey, there were a few people before me. So she had a few people, maybe two people before her, and she just rehearsed in an accent. So she went in the room the room was really glad to see her. They were, she had a warm greeting, but she presented the work right where she was with this brand new accent on it and brand new choices that she was exploring. That's the moral of the story. They immediately started to collaborate with her, give her adjustments. She did it several times and right then they invited her to the callback. The moral of the story is Approach the audition as if you're coming to set or if you're going to rehearsal. So you share wherever you are in the process and be open for collaboration. Don't jump to a finished performance. Just be where you are exploring the material. That is the best way to do it. It's the most truthful way to do it and it's the way that gets you the result you want. Tip two comes from my own audition this week. Have you ever heard the question when you walk in the room, you have any questions? Here's what I think is the best way to answer. It really gets the juices flowing and it creates an atmosphere that's creative, collaborative, exciting, and ultimately empowering. You could say, do I have any questions? Um, I don't know, should I have any questions? You could say, yeah, I have a question. What are they looking for? Or you could say, when I read this script, it jumped out at me as a pilot with a different tone and style. I'd love to take a stab at it. So right away, the casting director, number one, gets that you read the script and that you have an idea and that you're ready and prepared and you're not afraid to play. So they give you that first take and then they adjust you, give you the adjustments the different information that they have about the script that will only enhance your work. That invites collaboration. It makes the audition more like a rehearsal, more like a work session. And that is where you can really feel empowered and walk out the room like, hey, I did everything I could. So how do you answer the question? You answer the question with, I'd love to take a stab at it. That's it for today. Remember to follow us on Instagram or follow me on Instagram, iRozApp or Twitter, and I'll follow you back. Send those questions in and Craig and I will answer them all tomorrow. Take care.